now your first alert forecast with Steve Cannon. Now we showed you the fresh snow in some of the higher elevations, but none of it lingered on I-15 going north, none of it lingered on US-91 in Swan Lake, and none of it lingered in the Fort Hall area on I-15. This is looking south to, on, uh, to Pocatello. And from our Farm Bureau Sky Cam in Pocatello, we've got temperatures nicely into the upper 40s. We've got wind, breezy but not gusty. That's tolerable, at least as far as wind speeds are concerned. And other wind speeds ranging in the double digits all the way from Island Park south to Pocatello. West into Pinedale and Jackson, or east into Pinedale and Jackson, west into the Lost River Valley and the Magic Valley as well. But shower activity is confined well to the north. There's not much in our area to report, nor do we expect much, with a couple of exceptions. There's a little moisture sliding over the top of this high pressure system that will likely bring some, we call them wrap around showers, because that's exactly what it's doing. It's wrapping around. This high pressure system. Now, I'll show you what I'm talking about here on ViperCast. We don't have a lot to report at this hour, nor do we expect much by, tom by tonight. But then tomorrow, some of that shower activity, again, goes around the high pressure. It wraps around, if you will, starts here in the higher elevations, then kind of slides down. Uh, by Friday afternoon, even that's gone, and we're not expecting much through Saturday. Until we get into Saturday afternoon and evening when we get another round of those wraparound showers starting in the Central Mountains and ending up in the highlands of southeastern Idaho. But tonight, we're expecting fair to partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a little cool tonight with overnight lows in the 20s. That's all the way from Stanley to Salmon. A high temperature tomorrow in the 50s to low 60s with a fair to partly cloudy sky. Overnight tonight, a little cool as well. Now, this is compared to seasonal normals. We should be right around freezing. We're going to be a bit shy of that in many areas tonight, but tomorrow's temperatures, again, above normal. Normal high this time of year is about 52, 54 degrees. Overnight tonight, for the upper Snake River Valley, cooler than normal. Freezing or right around 30 should be our overnight low. Tomorrow's high temperatures, above normal, but not by much not counting the 60s in Aberdeen, Blackfoot, and on the INL. Tonight's overnight lows in the teens for West Yellowstone and uh, near 20 degrees in Jackson. Yes, that is below normal. And highs tomorrow ranging from 50 at Jackson, 46 in West, 57 in Rexburg. That's just a touch above normal. Overnight and tonight in southeastern Idaho and western Wyoming, 20s under a mostly to partly cloudy sky. We'll see a little warm up tomorrow with 40s to mid 50s for high temperatures. A bit warmer in Preston, a bit cooler in Pinedale. But the warm up starts for the weekend. We're liking the looks of this. 70s for Friday, Saturday, upper 60s for Sunday. You'll notice there's not much shower activity in the forecast. There is a bit of a wind here and there on Saturday and then again to usher in midweek next week. We'll see 70s as well for Blackfoot or close to that on Friday and Saturday. And then we're going to see a bit of a cool down. Now, by cool down, I'm talking cooler than the 70 on Saturday come next Wednesday and Thursday when we get back into the mid to upper 50s. Not likely to see much shower activity for the upper valley through the forecast period. Bit breezy on Saturday and then again as we move into midweek, but those mid to upper 60s for Friday through Sunday will seem awfully nice for weekend weather. Now the wraparound showers that we talked about, we're looking for a little of that activity tomorrow and then a little more Wednesday or Tuesday through Thursday of next week for Idaho Central Mountains as well as for some of the higher elevations in and around the national parks. For instance, Saturday and then again Tuesday, some of that wraparound moisture may make its way into some of our high country. This week is Sunset Week. Bargit sent us this beautiful sunset picture. It was taken in Swan Valley. It goes along with the ones we had last night from, uh, from Archer as well as a couple of other places.